Good to see you again. We are gonna talk about sweet cherry trees today, but before anything else, please hit that subscribe button. Really need the support. I'm trying to make as many videos as possible for you, and your support really helps. Everything is a learning curve, and it took me 15 years to figure out why I wasn't getting cherries like this every year off of my big cherry tree. I'm gonna tell you what I did wrong when I planted this cherry tree, what you can do right so that you don't have a problem with sweet cherry trees when you plant them. 18 years ago, I planted this cherry tree. I planted two Bing cherry trees and I planted two Montmorency cherry trees. Now the Montmorency cherry is a sour cherry. The Bing, as we all know, is a sweet cherry. So these sweet cherry trees, I planted them and, and I waited. Now the Montmorency cherry tree, that started producing almost immediately. The Bing, on the other hand, had a couple of cherries on it after the first couple of years, but it never produced very well. Eventually, the other Bing cherry tree died, and so I only had one. The fact is that I had the whole thing wrong. So just to give you a little bit of a background with cherry trees, you want to plant them in a well-drained location. Uh, you want it to be at least, at least in my case, I get away with morning sunlight and a little bit of afternoon sunlight. So this tree probably gets about six hours of sun a day. Now they say that you should get at least eight hours of full sun a day. I got to admit that this has not been my experience. Um, it, it may be, however, that you know, that's not ideal. So you might do better with a little bit more sun. In my area, the cherries ripe sometime in mid-June, and, and I always have a race to beat the birds. Uh, they are very enthusiastic about the cherries. Now, when you go to pick your cherries, you've got to be careful not to tear the, uh, the branches. And so what you want to do is, where the stem meets the tree, you want to lift up as you're picking. That's the best motion that you can use to keep the cherries uh, from the cherry stems from tearing away the bark or tearing little branches off of your fruit tree. You really don't want to do damage to it when you're picking, of course. Also, just judge by taste. You know, start tasting them when they start to look solid red, at least in the case of the Bing uh, cherry. Now, once you've picked them off the tree, they don't ripen that much. Uh, so if it's not tasting sweet when you pick it, Chances are, it's not going to be a sweet cherry in, uh, in a few days when you, uh, when you let it sit in the bowl on your counter. So as for pitting cherries, I like to just hand pit mine, but that's because I don't have a whole lot of them. I, I take off all of the stems first, split it in half, uh, pull out the pit with my thumb or my forefinger, and, uh, and toss the finished cherries into a bowl. And that seems to work really well for me. I have to say though, I've tried different methods. Some people will use a straw and they'll shove the straw in to, uh, to take out the cherry pits. I don't find that straws uh, really hold up that well when you do that and you lose a piece of the cherry every time you do it. I'm sure you're going to find a different way to do it. You can get a, a mechanical cherry pitter if you want and that might be a whole lot faster. So you're probably wondering, why wasn't I getting cherries? I had these Montmorency cherries growing. They were producing cherries most of the time. Uh, I had uh, another Bing cherry tree and that maybe that would have cross-pollinated, right? Well, the fact is neither of those are cross-pollinators for the Bing cherry. Bing cherries don't cross-pollinate each other. What you need is something like a black tartarian cherry or something else that is a cross-pollinator with, with Bing but is not a Bing, something that uh, flowers at about the same time and that is the trick. Montmorency cherries are sour cherries, and sour cherries, amazingly enough, do not cross-pollinate with sweet cherries. I didn't know that. I didn't know anything about cherry trees, and until I really started looking into it, I just figured that uh, the cherry tree wasn't going to uh, do very well in this location. Well, the cherry tree is thriving now. It produces lots of cherries, and now that the black tartarian that I got to cross-pollinate it has finally started producing a good number of flowers, every year I'm getting more cherries off of my Bing cherry tree. So when you plant a sweet cherry, make sure you plant another sweet cherry along with it to make sure that you get cross-pollination, but it should not be the same variety. That is the answer to the question.
So thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you took something away from it. Please hit that subscribe button. i uh, love to hear your comments. And please take a look at us at the foodforestgardenclub.org. Have a great day.